Won't be long now, folks. Won't be long. Hi, sorry, is this the... Um... The, the plunge enhancement and empowerment experience? Absolutely, come in. And you are... Oh, no, sorry, I'm meant to be at a focus group for laundry powder. Yep. No, this is... That? This is that? <laughs> and, and you must be Kel. Cal. 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 And how do you spell that? Uh, C-A-L. Oh. Cal. Actually, do I have to do that? No. Of course not. No. <laughs> Sit. Let's see, we still are waiting on one. <sighs> But let's get started anyway. Hi everyone, welcome to the Plunge Enhancement and Empowerment Experience. I want to thank you all for being a part of today. What we do here is really going to change the future of laundry liquid marketing as we know it. I know, right? Now, it may seem like a daunting responsibility, but trust me, you've all been selected based on exhaustive online surveys, not only for your individual qualities, but also for your demonstrated commitment to the Plunge product family. Yes, Paul? When do we get our money? Uh, your appreciation packs will be distributed at the conclusion of the experience. Uh, so, as you may be aware, in the last few days, Plunge has launched a new product into the marketplace called... Melissa? Plunge Extreme. Bingo. And how did you become aware of Plunge... Extreme. Melissa. Got a free sample in the mail. Great. And uh, anyone else receive a free sample of Plunge Extreme this week? Cal. Uh, yes, they were handing out free samples at the station and I thought it was gum or something. <laughs> Great. So, ladies, have you used it and what did you think? No way, I wouldn't use it. That's a collector's item. <laughs> That's gone straight on the shelf. No worries. Uh, Cal? No, I lost mine. In a bin. Oh, sweetheart, that's terrible. Okay, that's, uh, no, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, that's great, because what we're talking about here today is awareness, yeah? What Plunge wants to do is really get the message out there that there is a revolutionary new stain removal solution in the market. And thanks to our direct distribution and face-to-face -face campaign, we estimate that there are now three quarters of a million samples of Plunge Extreme out there in the community. Okay, sorry about this, everyone. Um, Um, help yourselves to a biscuit, and I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right back. So, do you like to read? No. My trouble is, once you've read Twilight, it's hard to find anything that really measures up, you know? What the fuck? Excuse me, it is a beautiful love story. The bloke running down the street being chased by five fuckheads dressed as zombies. Fuck, I hate students. Oh look, they've caught someone else now. Yeah, real scary. Go back to class, you idiots. You're not fooling anyone. <gasps> So clever! How do they pretend to pull out intestines like that? Okay, everyone. Um, break is over. First, they came for the Monte Carlos. Derek, shut the fuck up. He's a liability. We may have to make a difficult choice. Derek, for the last time, we are not going to have to eat anybody. It's been half an hour. I told you guys not to eat all the biscuits. We needed food, Cal. Sugar. To think. To make a plan. Look, 
I've been taking inventory of all our resources. Oh, that's 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 really good. That's really reassuring. I know. And this is how we're going to get through this. Yeah? By sticking together. By using the individual strengths of every member of the group to... What are you doing, Paul? I'd rather take my chances outside than dive stupidity in here. Paul, this could seriously jeopardise your appreciation pack. Oh, could I have his? For the shelf. You people are insane. Biological agent links to samples of laundry liquid which had been distributed widely throughout the state in the last 48 hours. The infected now number in the hundreds of thousands, and authorities that remain have adopted a shoot on site. Oh, no. oh, no. ah! ah! Plunge extreme. Plunge extreme caused the zombies? I would ask that you not let this affect your assessment of the product as a stain remover. You bastards fucked everything! Technically, I work for a consulting company contracted by the bastards, and I feel confident that you'll appreciate that distinction. Look, I understand that you feel let down by how the plunge enhancement and empowerment experience has gone so far. I understand that. And I understand that in many ways, the product has not met your expectations. And I'm sorry. I am very sorry, but please, hear me out. I realise that at the moment things may feel hopeless. You might wonder what a ragtag bunch like this could possibly do to survive in the face of such disaster. But this group is more powerful than you realise. This group has a secret strength, because this group this group was especially selected for its demographic diversity. We're about as diverse as a clan rally. Look, it's not my fault Mr. Bill and Gurra never showed up. Oh, I wonder what kept him. Bad traffic, maybe? Hmm? Look, the fact remains that our unique range of age, expertise and skills leaves us uniquely placed to survive this unpleasantness. And when the time comes to repopulate... Excuse me? Look, you're only 19. There'll be, there'll be plenty of time for that later. But in the meantime, let's talk agriculture. Derek. Thank you, James. Now, first of all, you'll need to know a few things about Jethro Tull. Not just the agricultural pioneer, but also the progressive rock group that bears his name. Now, hands up. Who likes Aquila? I'm 29. No, no, that's not possible. Yeah, it is. I look young for my age. You said you wanted a 19-year-old and I wanted 30 bucks. That throws out the entire balance of the group. Oh my god. We're doomed. Hey, I reckon we can make it to my ute. I got a nail gun. I got food. More importantly, I got a shitload of rum. You coming? Okay, but you should probably know I'm gay. Great, so am I. <laughs> well, I probably should get going too. Um, care to join me? But where will we go? Oh, to my private island. My chopper's on the roof. Did I not mention any of this? Just one question. Mm -hmm. Do you have any Harry Potter books? All of them. Sorry, mate. Only two seats. Mr. Bill and Gara, we've been wondering where you got to. 